Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have another empties video. I just did not too long ago a massive empties and donates video, but I have some more, not nearly as much, but I'm going to let you know what I think of them. They are all products that you can get from FabFitFun, although one of them I didn't get from FabFitFun, but I've seen it in a FabFitFun sale before. So this is a FabFitFun empties video. Also, I really like to do reviews of, I do my first impressions and then kind of a mid point review and then an empties review so if you've been watching me for a while I've talked about almost all of these things already but this is kind of like my final thoughts wrap up after using the whole product so let's get started this is one that I've talked about a lot and my first impression was that I didn't like it and then it grew on me and grew on me and grew on me and I absolutely love it especially for when I am going to blow out my hair well I don't really blow it out I flat iron it so when I'm going to flat iron my hair it's a heat protectant it's TBD multitasking styler and TBD stands for tame blow out deconstruct so you're supposed to be able to use it for various things it's a styling cream so I use it the way I use it is I put it in my hair I let my hair curl my hair is kind of I just took it out of a braid but I let my hair it's naturally curly I let it curl and then on day two I will flat iron with this in my hair because this is also a heat protectant uh, it doesn't say it so apparently oh blowout yeah so blowout it's a heat protectant and I love I love most of living proof of most most of the living proof stuff that I've used I have said this so many times as well living proof is owned by Unilever and I'm trying to do cruelty free so unfortunately I won't be repurchasing that this uh, product but I do have a backup from before I knew that so I am so happy that I have that backup this makes my hair feel once I've blown it once I've straightened it uh, there's some the product feels a little bit heavy that was why I didn't like it with my first impression but after you sleep on it and then you wake up in the morning something it must soak into the cuticle or something or it's, there's you need to give it like 12 hours to really settle into your hair and settle into giving you the style that it will it, it, it works really really nicely for me and my hair type I love this stuff the way I described using it so this is an empty I won't repurchase because I'm trying to do really strict cruelty free and Unilever is not cruelty free but I highly recommend this if you aren't doing that this is a wonderful product and you can get it on Amazon <laughs> for cheaper than you can get it at like Ulta or something they have it on Amazon I think for $17 go take a look it's cheaper there Okay, so this one is a vitamin C serum. I sprung for this one in one of the FabFitFun sales, Glytone. And this one, I didn't have a lot to buy in that sale, so I went ahead and picked something pricier. I think I spent like $44 on it. This is a product, one of those products that's uh, developed in the lab of a pharmaceutical company, like a pharmaceutical lab, so it's supposed to be all high tech high end and amazing I can't say that I noticed any difference in my skin because of this one I'm not sure how valuable I am finding vitamin C serums to be in my routine at all I I, I haven't I have yet to use one that I feel like I can point to and say that did something I liked using the may love glow maker that was a pleasant serum to use but even then it was still kind of I didn't really see any changes in my skin because of it or at least I don't know maybe it was part it's maybe it is part of the symphony of skincare and my skin is nicer because anyway the jury is out for me on vitamin C serums. I will still use them though, um, and hopefully one day I will figure it out. This one though, as a vitamin C serum, so I don't think it was worth the price. Even what I paid, it was $44, and I think the retail was $120 or $130, something like that. This, using it was quite pleasant. It is entirely unscented, which is fantastic. There are so few products that are just completely unscented no scent whatsoever that was amazing the consistency was very very nice to use as well see I'm just using the word nice I'm not saying like wonderful fantastic mind-blowing or anything like that 
So it was um, like a cream oil. So it was white and it was creamy and a little bit runny, pretty runny, and it went on and it felt really nice to use. So that's the Glytone. I wouldn't recommend spending so much money on it, except for the fact that it was it was entirely unscented, which that's that's really hard to find and really important for some people. And I really really liked that about this. Would I buy this again? No. If you are intrigued by the aspects of it that I said, of course, go ahead and try it out. And if money isn't so much of an issue for you and you see it again in a sale and you want to spend the $44, go ahead. I wouldn't spend 100 and whatever on it, not even if I was rolling in money. Okay, so this is the Air Active Face Wash. This I've seen in a lot of the FabFitFun sales, but I got this in a Pettiver box. This is non-toxic, cruelty-free. If you get it in a Pettiver box, you can be pretty sure that it's not toxic or, or tested on animals. It's pronounced Air, and it is a New York City-based company. I didn't like this one at first. This was another one that I didn't have a good first impression of. It felt a little bit harsh. I have dry skin, so it felt a little bit harsh, and there was something in the scent that was a little bit soapy, like dial, like, like straight up soap from the 80s that I used when I was a kid. And then it started to grow on me more. It does feel very cleansing, and I do think that this would be a good uh, face wash for all skin types because it was although it was a little bit too drying for me it was nothing that my moisturizers didn't take care of right away if I used them afterwards so I was I, I quickly moved on from feeling like that and I, I think that I think that this could work for a lot of different fa uh, skin types and the scent although it was a little soapy like dial it's soap, so it was kind of nice after a while to smell that old familiar smell of soap. <laughs> so I, it grew on me. It grew on me somewhat quickly. It definitely took a, a good half a dozen uses for me to finally start to get into using it. But I did end up really liking this one, and it's cruelty-free, cool, non-toxic, all of that. I don't know what it's like to have like problem, oily, acne skin, so I don't know that it would be good for that end of the spectrum but for most skin types i think that this would work really really well this is the paradox game changer hair mask this was in i got this in one of the summer fab fit fun sales i'm filming on my phone today and it's not there we go there you can see it that way <laughs> um the thing there are many many things i like about this company they are uk based they purposefully don't use plastic. They use aluminum. They're cruelty free. Also, all of those things that I really value in a company, they are very mindful about their practices. All of those things. This one gets a big thumbs up. I love the smell. Also gets a big thumbs up. I'm a sucker for just herbal small spa like smells, natural herbal spa like smells. And this one smells like that as well. Let's see what some of the ingredients are in here has geranium leaf oil, I can definitely smell that. It has eucalyptus leaf oil, so the herbal smells, it smells great. I, as a hair mask though, it felt pretty much just like a hair conditioner. It wasn't anything special. I didn't feel any kind of extra hydration in my hair after using it. I just ended up using this as the, or a hair conditioner, so. I hope that they continue working on their formula and get get it so that it's more nourishing. So that's how it performed as a hair mask. So would I buy it again? No. Okay, second to last product. This is the Terra Niacinamide and Algae Revitalizing Night Cream. That's what it says on the front. This one's probably going to have some difficulty showing up just because the contrast of the colors on the front isn't very good or stark, I guess is the word I would want there. So this I got in a FF Fun sale, and I Terramara is a lovely high-end vegan organic skincare line. That said, I have liked, I have really liked a couple of things I have used of theirs, and I have really, I really disliked their charcoal cleanser that I just got a couple sales ago. That was in my empties and donates video. This one I liked quite a bit. The smell, so a uh, subscriber friend Natalie, she told me that the smell is clary sage and that's where it gets the smell from. I did not like the smell at first. I definitely got used to it and it was fine. My husband ended up asking me to not use it any longer. Um, 
he put up with it for a good few weeks and so what I ended up doing is I ended up using it I, I'm not, not even gonna try to get like scrape it out and get the rest out but I ended up using it in the morning which is not a morning cream at all it smells like my first impression that it was like it was like rotting sandalwood that was my first thought when I smelled it that went away it definitely smells very very earthy and it smells like a forest after a hard rain that's been sitting for a few days and there's definitely something pungently earthy about it. I got used to it and it was fine with me, but I definitely was worried about using it in the morning and then going and interacting with people and smelling like rotting earth. <laughs> so this one has a problematic smell, but as a night cream, I don't think I've ever used a night cream that felt as nourishing and amazing as this one does. It is like using, you know, body butter that's like really thick and nourishing and you need to give it time to settle in. It's like a face butter. This was, this was so luxurious and I felt like I was really giving my skin very nutritious food when I used this. So would I buy it again? No, because my husband can't stand the smell. If my husband, husband didn't mind the smell and I could use it at night and sleep in it, I would buy this again. I think I spent $29 on this in a sale and it retails for something like a hundred and maybe not quite that much. I'll, I'll look for prices as much as I can and I will flash them across the screen as I go. I probably already have been. So yeah, that's what my take is on this one. And I have one more. This is the Osha. I got this in a pet of her box that was an amazing box simply for this this has um it's a herbal spa like smell it smells actually smells somewhat similar to this i mean a lot of those smells yeah it smells a little bit similar to this uh and so i'm a sucker for that kind of smell it came in my pet of her box i haven't i've been thinking this okay i was wrong this i haven't seen in fat fit fun i've been expecting to see it show up but it hasn't yet I actually used to see it on instagram a lot too and i haven't seen it there recently either anyway but because it came in a pet of her box cruelty free non-toxic all of that stuff don't even have to worry about it or look into it um, this was wonderful. I used it in the morning as a morning moisturizer. It smells amazing. It feels amazing. Uh, it needs a little bit of time to uh, soak in. I, rem I do remember that the first time I used it, I put on my sunscreen qu fairly quickly after putting it on and I did get some balling up of my product reacting to each other, but simple fix was that I just gave this about 10 minutes to actually absorb and then put on my sunscreen and I didn't do that anymore. So highly recommend. I'm not sure what this, I think this retails for about $40. And if that's in your ballpark, I, 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 I love this. I think it was amazing. I would use it again. If I weren't a member of all of these boxes where I was getting great deals on all kinds of face creams, I would buy this full price. So that's it. That's my empties video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. And I, oh, and if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.